Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I think we all know the difference between an infantile and a uh, ignorant and uh, a stupid. They all have uh, a little distinction between these terms, right? Well, infantile uh, and you can say, uh, you know, is a person who is not really, you know, Im is immature, kind of like the same uh, term. You know, like a child doesn't know the difference between good and bad. You know, doesn't doesn't have uh, you know self reflection or you know um, self awareness things like this. Uh, or an ignorant also could be a person that, uh, for instance, an, is uh, a person who doesn't know things. But it's a little bit more on the knowledge side. I, I know I'm very loose with the words. I'm not uh, very strict, but in this case. Uh, and I want to make a point, probably that's the reason why. Um, so an ignorant is someone, when someone calls you, hey, you're an ignorant, that means you don't know something about the subject. It's not that you're stupid, you do not know uh, those uh, facts, you don't have any idea on the issue. Now stupid, on the other hand, is different from uh, you know an ignorant or an infantile. Okay. An infantile, as I said, not developed, is fine, it doesn't know the difference. Stupid is a, a person who can't, uh, you know, retrieve uh, information and can't uh, assimilate information and can't give you information. So it's a person who can't learn. And then, obviously, you include in that being unable to have self-reflection, uh, you know, self-awareness, and acts in an infantile way because doesn't know what's good and what's bad. So we have here the um, uh, Finnish leader, that lady, that she's 30-something years old. Remember the dancer, uh, tiny dancer? The Finnish prime minister. Remember this uh, lady here? The, no, I'm sorry, the woman. She's not a lady. A lady needs to earn that. Um, she is, if you remember, it was a little... Uh, you know, some people made a big deal. I think it, it was... A little bit embarrassing for her. Uh, it should have been, but it seems like she, it's not. When she was filmed, you know, dancing in a, I don't know, I would say teenage infantile way. Uh, she definitely can do whatever she wants. The problem is that uh, her title as a prime minister of a country uh, obliges her to behave in a certain way. If we still talk about decency and we talk about nobility and we talk about uh, this is better than this a criminal is worse than a person who doesn't commit a crime as long as we still values and we can look a person with uh, dignity and a person with not dignity you can say you can say that a prostitute has dignity I mean you can try but you can't have dignity if you sell yourself in that manner you can't really have self-respect versus a person who has certain self-respect well her behavior and the title that did not match okay title her behavior were parallel and very uh, big gap between them she was dancing at the party she was talking uh, that's the term i think you know when you pretend that you are you know having some sexual moves while i'm guessing you are uh, maybe on top of someone or i don't know face to face i mean we've all done that i guess but we did it um as weasels as we are you know what I mean and at a certain age it wouldn't be you go to the Christmas party for a company and you start talking over there you know what I mean um, hmm, I don't think so why for that reason and you go to a company now she's the prime minister so at least for me that didn't matter did it, I was like no now you would say well I'm sorry I behave like a whore you know I I mean you behave like one uh, or like a child, how do you want me to interpret that? You're a lady and you're a prime minister. No. Okay, so you, I expected her to say, well, well, I, I was just a little bit uh, drunk and I was childish. I apologize and whatever. I will be more careful next time so you don't see it when I do it. Not even that. Now, she's defending that by snapping at a reporter and I would like you to pay attention to her argument her defense of her all that she doesn't understand it she has no self-awareness she doesn't think she did anything that is wrong and she blames others what is that 
Is that narcissistic personality? This article comes from Sputnik and it's from um, today and it's today being the 2nd of uh, uh, December 2022. Uh, this is the um, title. Finnish party prime minister Marin or Marin, how you want to call her, snaps at TV host when squeezed over dancing videos. She's 37. 37, do you think she's young? Do you think she's old? Do you think that that kind of dance would match a 37-year-old decent woman? No, I don't think so. Would match a certain kind of woman, but not a decent woman. And I'm not here the Iranian uh, morality police, okay? But I can't let things that obviously are nasty not to see in them. I would like to keep value still value, okay? So here it is, 37 years old Finnish Prime Minister Sana Marin. Marin. I would say Marin because it's a Romanian name. I mean, we have it. It doesn't mean that she's Romanian. Marin fired back at a TV host during a discussion of videos of her dancing by calling herself a young person. So that was her first line of defense was i'm a young person i can do that yes but it's more to that baby doll uh, who wants to act her age that's what she said by calling herself a young person who wants to act her age so in her lack of self-awareness that talking sex porn whatever is appropriate to her age of 37 being a, a, a again lack of self-awareness, young person at 37, okay, and being the prime minister of a country. So do you think these things show that she knows what she's talking about? Finnish Prime Minister uh, Sanna Marin lost her calm in a heated exchange with an Australian TV host who happened to address the notorious videos of her dancing. When TV host Sarah Ferguson asked her about the controversy over photos and footage that emerged of Marin dancing earlier this year, and asked to comment on the uh, outrage it had sparked as many suggested such behavior was unbecoming of a prime minister i agree with that marine fired back by claiming that there was no outrage maybe it was not outrage but you are acting like a whore can we say you are acting like a whore no okay actually this is what she says actually that means that's a gaslighting that actually means that's not what you say i tell you what it is actually there, uh, there wasn't that, the outrage. It was more journalists that, that, and the media that made this spectacle or frenzy. Well, I don't think it was a frenzy, but you lost uh, something. If you had any before that, you, now you don't have it, which is nobility, which is, you know, decency. You don't have that. You act like a whore. You must be one. Not necessary, but you did act like one. Marin insisted. The people were very supportive. The people. I'm people. I wasn't supportive. You can say some people. Yes, that's true. Some because you don't know the proportionality. How many are? I think they made an opinion poll and I think that most of them were against her. But anyway, they would stop me in the street and say that we are supporting you. Keep on dancing. Yeah, yeah. But if uh, some people would uh, wanted to, let's say, uh, caress you and tell you, hey, baby doll, were they allowed to? Or they kept quiet because you were too embarrassed and they didn't even want to talk to you. You know, you don't really want to acknowledge a, a person of that kind. Because if you acknowledge that person, that means you associate with that person. Maybe people don't want to associate with you the ones that did not approach you. Can we guess that the ones that did not approach you on the street were the ones that did not like that? Can we? It was maybe only a spectacle because it was interesting from the media perspective. So it is the media and the people. People liked it and the media made it just to make it. No, baby doll, I'm not part of the media, however you want to talk, take it. And she said, Marine furthermore stressed the politicians are also human beings. That's true. Can they be criminals? Can they be pedophiles? Can they commit crimes? Can they uh, do all kinds of other criminality? No. So that's a bad argument. That's why you're 37. Okay. And that's why I don't see anything wrong with this. But you're a prime minister. How come? by what kind of criteria you got there. People elected you. What people? Hey, Finland, I have expectations. So, are also human beings. That's true, we make mistakes, that's true. But you have to own your mistakes. But she doesn't. 
and called herself quite a young person at 37. You're not old, but you're not young. You know how I know that? I'm not gonna go into that. Maybe another video. And she said, I want to act like my age. Well, you didn't. You did not act like your age. See, lack of self-awareness. She doesn't know how a 37-year-old prime minister of a country should act. I want to act like my age. Well, then cut that crap with that kind of dance. That's my advice. I meet my friends. Good. I go dancing. That's good. I got out if I have a free time. I go out if I have a free time, even though I don't have that much free time, she said. Well, you go dancing, but if you go and you do a booty dance, you know what it is? Go in certain neighborhoods and you're going to find out. If you do a booty dance or you start uh, undressing and you have a pole and you start dr dr dancing at the pole, I don't think that's the same thing as dancing a waltz with a partner. Do you think so? It's the same thing. So don't put everything together. There are dances, certain kind of dances, and other kind of dances. You got the other kind of dances. So don't put tango, waltz, you know, foxtrot, or things like this with that. Or rumba, and eh, rumba is a little bit more, uh, uh, uh. but anyway, you know, you got the point. But she puts everything together. She, that's the way she thinks. Now, do you think she's good for a prime minister? I don't think so. Do you think she's good to take care of your child in the kindergarten? I don't think so. Is she good at, uh, at opening doors and closing doors? Maybe, maybe, you know why? Because she might not open the door uh, to, other, to people that she doesn't like. Therefore, she's gonna be fired the next day for discrimination. So you see, she's not a very, very good uh, person in this way. So this is, so she said actually, right? That she is quite a young uh, woman and she was just dancing and uh, only mass media and people liked it. So I'm gonna tell you something and you can take it however you want. These kinds of conversations I had with many women. I don't have anything against women, I love women in any way. But uh, still, this kind of uh, argumentation, I found it very uh, strange coming from many, many women I met, from other, not from, uh, I'm not saying the men don't do that, but I, it was prevalent in that area. So it doesn't surprise me when she comes at 37 saying that, how in the hell she's got to be the prime minister of, uh, of um, uh, Finland? How is that possible? Anyway, um, it just surprises me, surprises me, because I met so many uh, ladies that really uh, have lower jobs than this person, you know, but their way of thinking, the way of acting is much, much m superior to whatever she be, the way she thinks, the way she behaves. What's kind of that arg argumentation? What, what is that? Gaslighting, it's the first one. No, everybody likes likes it. So basically, that's what she said. Everybody likes it. Just, just you hate it, it because I'm a young person. I have fun, and you hate me because I was maybe I was so good, so fantastic, talking on the on the on the camera at 37 or 36, whatever, as a prime minister. Great job. Well, I don't want that person to represent me, but hey, I have Biden, and <laughs> I have Kamala. I think Kamala is much much better than uh, you know. Uh, what's her name? At least Kamala, you know, what's his name? Willie Brown? Yeah, check Willie Brown, uh, California and Kamala and see where her political uh, career started. He said, in between my legs, that's where her career, political career started. Hey, I'm just uh, the bearer of the bad news, okay? I'm not implying she's a horror or anything, but uh, you uh, assess that for yourself. But this woman and Kamala, are where they are. Kamala is just the same kind. It's even, I would say, and Kamala is what, 55 or 50 or 60 something, and she is even worse than this one here. In, in many ways, many ways. Anyway, now that I smashed them and I didn't, I didn't want to be this, uh, uh, you know, bad, but uh, as there's no other way uh, I would be honest if I would not say what I saw. And that's what I saw, a 37-year-old year old, uh, prime minister of a country twerking in front of a uh, camera at a party. Nothing wrong with that, but that, nothing wrong with that. It is wrong with that because it was leaked to the public and the pub, public saw what she is, not classy at all. And then 
as I said, you can alleviate that image if you come out and you say, well, it was not the right thing. Man. I, mean, I, had, I had some fun. I had some nasty moves. Well, whatever, man. I behaved. It was fun. I just have a little bit of a, you know, I, it was a joke. I, I made a joke. That's not me. That's not how I dance. But no, she tried to justify all that by other means. Uh, no, you just, you saw it. It was not like that. I'm still young. I can dance like that. Uh, you know, things like this. Uh, no, they don't, they don't, they don't fly with certain kind of uh, people. Like me, at least. Maybe other people liked it, and I'm pretty sure they did. Uh, imagination plays a big role for people who, uh, you know what I mean. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.